Cerebral palsy is a permanent condition that results in some loss of muscle control and coordination. CP is caused by a brain injury that happens before birth or during the first one to two years of a child's life. While the injury to the brain is static and does not change, it can cause downstream changes as the child develops. For example, children with cerebral palsy often develop an involuntary tightness in their muscles, known as spasticity. Spasticity can deform joints, such as the hip, over time. The hip is made up of your femur, or ball, which fits inside the acetabulum of your pelvis, or socket. Spasticity in the muscles around the hip straightens out the neck of the femur and causes the socket to become shallow. If not treated, the femur can become easily dislocated, especially as the ball deforms over time. Other complications can include probable arthritis, joint pain, limited range of motion, problems with skin around the groin, and problems with sitting. Your care team, including your primary care provider, rehab physician, or developmental pediatrician, and your orthopedic surgeon, will screen for the warning signs that indicate treatment is needed. Surgical treatment for these deformities is called femoral varus derotational osteotomy, with possible pelvic osteotomy, or VDRO for short. VDRO is a reconstructive surgery, so many of the goals are to prevent future complications. VDRO can also improve range of motion of the hip joint, improve care of skin around the groin, and improve sitting position. It is not an expectation of VDRO surgery to improve walking ability for children with cerebral palsy. To begin the procedure, your anesthesiologist will put you to sleep and administer any extra pain medication as necessary. Next, your surgeon will make an incision in the thigh and remove a wedge-shaped piece of bone from the femur. The leg is moved so that the femur points toward the hip. Your surgeon secures the bone in place with a plate and screws. Next, your surgeon makes an incision in the skin near the top of the hip and makes a cut or osteotomy in the pelvis. The pelvis is then bent down to deepen the hip socket. The wedge of bone from the femur is reshaped into a graft and placed into the osteotomy. Over time, the bone graft heals and becomes part of the pelvis. Typically, both legs are done in the same surgery, so there is only a single recovery period. After the surgery, you will need six weeks of rest with a hip abduction pillow, followed by a checkup with your doctor before you begin physical therapy. After VDRO surgery, you should have a wider range of mobility in your hips and legs and an improved quality of life moving forward. To find out more about VDRO surgery, visit the Children's Hospital Colorado Orthopedic Institute page on our website.